What's going on, everybody? Oh, encoding overload for the first time. Okay, hold on. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Image here. Welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Almost said the wrong title, but you know, I didn't have to admit that to you guys. But it's we're in a trial, so we have to be honest with each other. And I almost screwed up. I've gotta be honest. Anyways, Monokuma and Monomi time. What's going on? Now then, this class trial has reached its climax, but... Okay, here's one question for you. What's this? To those of you who figured out who it is, how about let's try and guess the killer challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their save data melt away like butter. But if you get it right, I'll reward you with $10 billion. $10 billion? Of course, for those of you who don't know who the killer is, can you can just continue on. Wait. Just kidding, you can't make a choice. There's no way you'd be able to guess who the killer is. <laughs> and of course, there's no ten billion dollars either. Dang it, Monokuma. I wanted my ten Bs. You're so evil. Villain, you truly are a villain. I was able to I was fine risking my save data. If that can go away, I'm about to save it anyway. Like right now. <clears throat> I actually didn't think about it being saved right now. But, you know, it's fine. Trial is reopened. Resume. Hi, Monami. And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. What? The group's leader, Byakuya, got killed. And his killer is among this group of students? No, I'm not going to believe it. I'll never believe it. Because I believe in everyone. So do your best, and don't forget to save regularly. <laughs> you, only you, can prevent lost save data. Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that. You say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. But, but, there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Yakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I think Nagito looks... Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. Um, I'm not talking about your looks. Why does Mikan think Nagito looks clean? I see. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any bloodstains on him? <coughs> yeah. Yes, th that's it. Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even bloodstains on the inside of the tablecloth. He stabbed Byakuya to death. Strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> you just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? Yes, there's only one thing that could have been used to block the blood splatter. Stains on it. That settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you, wearing a tablecloth, 
going under the table, hitting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Then, what does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Huh? No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody. So, there's no denying Yakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Yakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! The place Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer was stabbing are different. You look like you're on to something. Really? But it sounds like a riddle. Did Teru Teru do it from the kitchen? It's still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Moving forward. We should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. In scenes where you have to figure out important words, the improved hangman's gambit will occur. The goal is to line up the red letters in order to in an order so it reveals a keyword related to the incident in question. Improved Hangman's Gambit is like a little bit of a puzzle game. Various letters will be flying across the screen in all directions. There are two rules you must remember. If two different letters clash, you'll take damage. If two of the same letters clash, they will fuse. If you make two of the same letters clash while you try to not let... You must make two of the same letters clash while you try and make two of this... Not let two of the different letters clash. So what is more important? The order... In order to do that, you must use the technique called catching and releasing. When you move the, the reticle with the left stick on the A button, press the A button while it's on top of the letter. If you can snatch that letter like a vacuum, this is what it means to catch a letter. However, you can only catch one letter at a time, so be careful. When you press the A button while you have a letter caught, you can shoot it with the cursor at aiming. That's how you release the letter. With catch and release, you can change the position of the letters and hit the letters into each other. If that makes sense, you... You hit the same letters, you can fuse them. The fused letters will freeze together and get bigger. By pressing A, you can blow it up and erase the, it from the field. Uh, this is called firing the letters. You catch... Catch and release with the A button to fuse them. And fire with the A button. That's a whole lot of A buttons. However, you can erase... If you just erase letters, you won't be able to clear the game. Ultimately, the main goal of improved Hangman's Gambit is completing the keyword. Display the question with the B button to figure out what the keyword is to the answer. Lining up the keyword instead of pressing the A button to fire the letter, please press the Y button. If this happens, if that happens the same time the letter blows up, it'll be sent to the keyword list. If a letter, sent letter is correct, it would fit in the keyword list. If not, the influence gauge will take damage. You must write the keyword in order to, or based on the flying letters, and please think about the completed word. Also, if you leave a fused letter alone for a while, it'll blow up on its own. In that case, you will still take damage, so be careful. I took so long explaining it, but do you understand now? You can press the start button to see the controls. Good luck and have fun. The place Byaki got stabbed and the place where the killer did the stabbing are the same. Use those words as a clue. I should put aside my preconceptions and think about it. Kitchen, probably? Oh, whoa. Oh, under the table. Ah. Okay. I just figured out how this works. Okay. Oh. 
Oh shoot, I did the wrong thing. Say that L's turning towards the other thing too. F can say. from under the floorboards. Under the floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Yakia to death. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. But where? And how? I don't know that yet. I have a feeling that there's someone here who does know. That's right, if I remember correctly, one person here should know to get out of their floorboards. Crap! Wait, hold on. Am I sure that this is the person? going wrong here what do I what did I forget during investigation Gundam talked about it but I highly doubt Gundam would be the one, the only one. what hey Gundam you dropped your earring in the dining hall right Are you referring to the hellhound earring about that ear I said are you referring to the hellhound earring about that hellhound earring you dropped it beneath the floorboard right Ah, there it is. I found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound Earring. <laughs> Seems God does exist for my benefit. I see. Good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Where do I... Where I... To use a tool, it would probably not reach either. <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began, and that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different. 
With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. Truly, this is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. No! Man up and speak more clearly! Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the hellhound earring with my own two hands! <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous! You're just a breeder, you know? Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Then that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. See, if they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab, stab, stab! Huh. Are you sure? You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy, like... No, I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but... That means they would have had to leave the party, right? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness, right? Yes! This Monomi over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but... I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... It obviously has to be him! Yay! It's decided! What? What the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right! Things are starting to get exciting! Good news, you're allowed to use the silencer now. You can use the silencer with the A button as many times as you want. When you use the sil silencer, you can shoot down the white noise. Um, also, when you shoot down white noise, the time limit will increase just by a little. However, you need to shoot the actual order mark with your silencer instead of the white noise. What? Oh, if you shoot the remark instead of the white noise, your time limit will decrease. Oh, but the difficulty is set. If the difficulty is set to gentle, then white noise won't appear, which is. We don't have it set that. <laughs> However. If you feel like doing a little bang bang, you should use it to your heart's content. Bang 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 bang. Well, good luck and have fun. Okay. Make the argument. Ah, oh, it's everybody's accounts again. Ugh. So it's probably a supporting statement. During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And they could have stared at panties all day without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. Oh, Chiaki's account. Self-evident. 
party that was lurking under the floor. And they could have stared it without going to the store. Is that true? Well, you do not like I'm the fucking... But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. No, that's wrong. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um... Oh, you're right. Huh, what happened, Fuyuhiko? Oh, hey, what are you doing here, all alone in a place like this? I'm standing guard, so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Ha, huh, how, how diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Ch Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. We can't spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. Unless you had an excuse or a way to get there beforehand. It appears we're getting close to the final stage. The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? <laughs> like being able to get out. Let's start with the. F the hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? Uh, probably not. What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? It definitely sounds impossible. The hall was really dark during the blackout. Maybe they had a story like that. Was that making a secret over my fish? Is it really not possible? I know. The killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right? But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skews, skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There's also iron plates, a barbecue, and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. The kitchen seems to be well kept, so there should be no problems with using it. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. <laughs> The killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the black PC. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. A hole? What kind of hole? It would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's sure. Sure. Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime, will you battle against me? No, that's wrong. Will you be able to break through my argument? Well, what does he mean, battle? He sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. Damn it, there's no way I gotta lose to someone like him.
Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, in such a dark hallway, crap, shining in such a dark hallway. A light was shining in that's such a dark crap. hallway. Dark hallway. Crap. The reason Kazuichi couldn't see it was because the hallway was dark. Okay, should, so there might be more than one now. Hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Aha! There is more. He was walking near the hallway, right? Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Crap! Oh, I'm getting hit the hard here. Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Allow me to cut through those words. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. You actually noticed the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Wow. Oh, you still don't remember your talent, do you? Yeah, who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I would kind of appreciate it, Fuhiko. Hey, it's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. But Monokuma... Not all burly brawls have to be a fist fight now, do they? Importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. No matter what it is. So you're telling me to call out the real killer, even though I don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? The person who used the hallway fire door as a cover used it as a portable, used the portable stove to move in the dark and snuck underneath the floorboards to stab Yakuya to death using glowing paint as a mark. The only killer I could think of is... You and only you. You're the only one. Teru Teru. Could it be you? Huh? What? What are you talking about? Teru Teru's the killer? Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way. Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection. Please speak free. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? You're cruel. Cruel. Too cruel. Ah. Uh, oh, Terry. That attitude is so not like you. For the ultimate cook to get so upset. Call me Chef. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. 
for the future of the culinary arts. You must face this and fight it fair and square. You're right. Yeah. That's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? <laughs> oh is it no. Yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't be laughing, but, you know. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards, too. So how would they be able to stab Byakuya? You're not gonna say they shined the light on Byakuya, right? Plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's. There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboard. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. The victim was targeted by a mark. What would be that mark? talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! S seriously, I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? Y you again? Just stop already! Y now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. <laughs> Oh, shall we now? Also, I'm sorry, but Nagito is literally just inverse freaking hero, okay? If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? You heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? Th th that's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. You would want that. Well, if you want. You should try licking me. <laughs> no way! You look greasy. But I heard Tara Taro's voice in the dining hall. Ibuki swears on her honor. That's right. Taro Taro was in the dining hall, not the storage room. 
Which means he's not the killer. No, that's not it. Wh why? Why do you have to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Oh god, there's more. Okay. Making your argument. The blood stain under the table. Glad gaps in the floorboard. I think this is now where we gotta talk about the gaps in the floorboard a little Let bit more. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. <laughs> Maybe it was recording or something? Oh, <gasps> That's possible. Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. Uh, I do, I believe it can somehow, but how? Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. I'll shoot through I was that right. contradiction. Okay. I'm glad I trusted myself on that. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. This That makes sense. Okay. Huh? Why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? He's definitely getting all, like, frantic. What We're definitely on to something. I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. What the? What? Where are you from again? Ooh, I was born in West Asabu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys. This guy's a major liar. If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned. Right? And he was well, not. I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was. I was there the whole damn time. Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. Damn right. You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories. His accent is getting even worse. He's definitely lying. However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there. And I believe that he was not there. Get back that picture. Is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? His memories. Ah, yeah, don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? I probably can. Oh, 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 you again. Whether or not Terra Terra was in the dining hall during the blackout, in order to know for sure, I just need to throw a question at him. Crap. I can 
prove it with this. Wow, why, how, what? 